Hey everyone, uh, sorry I, I or nobody else has made a video in, uh, well, pretty much forever. So, um, a lot of things have changed. Uh, if you've ever tried to go to our website, you've noticed that it's down. It's one of those, you know, junk sites now. Uh, it expired, and nobody else wanted to split the price with me. So, uh, I just let it go. So, I uh, opened a blog spot. You know, it's free, easy. Um, so, if you want to check it out, it's just iviupet.blogspot.com. It's, uh, you know, just our, our blog. I'll be updating it with, you know, new tutorials, uh, just, you know, projects that we're doing. Uh, we just JTAGged an Xbox so we could play uh, Halo Reach early. Um, so, yeah, I'll be uploading more pictures later. Okay, so uh, just going to start off with a really simple tutorial just to get, get back into making videos. I'm going to be showing you how to make, or how to... Uh, you know, get Linux running virtually. Uh, I'm going to be using Ubuntu, uh, just running virtually uh, on your Windows computer. It doesn't have to be seven; it could be you know XP or Vista. So what you're going to want to do is go to Google, or just click the link below the video. I'll provide a direct link. Just uh, search VMware Player, and then download. And then uh, you're going to want to log in, or if you don't have an account, just create one. It's really easy. They don't send any spam. Um, yeah, so just register, and then uh, you're going to download it, and then just install it. And then you'll get a uh, shortcut, just like this. So you're going to want to open it. Uh, create new virtual machine. Uh, then you're going to... You can uh, download the Ubuntu... Uh, or you know any uh, Linux or whatever you want, whatever operating system you want. Uh, I backtrack four here. So yeah, you're just gonna you just you can download Ubuntu from their website. Oops, spell that wrong. Right here, um, it's free. Just download the newest one. But you can go with whatever Linux you want. Uh, I've found Ubuntu to be one of the easiest Linux to deal with, especially if you're, you know, not familiar with Linux at all. So just browse for it, open it, um, click next, full name, uh, whatever name you want to use. I'll just say Bob Tutorial, username, holy Jesus, password, just whatever you want. You can leave it blank, I believe. Actually, I guess I'll do that. Nope, you can't. Um, name it. I'll just name it Ubuntu Tutorial. Then you can set where the virtual machine goes. It really doesn't matter. Um, I just let it go default to the default place because I really don't care where it goes. Uh, recommended size. You can leave it, but if you're low on disk space and you're just you just want to use it, you know once in a while it really doesn't matter um, so I'll just go with 10 gigs I'm gonna delete this anyways um, next uh, you can go ahead and click finish if you want if you like the settings but uh, I always customize the hardware uh, I give myself a gig of RAM and then since I have a six core processor I uh, go ahead and give it a dual core this is uh, dedicating you know cores for the virtual machine uh, and then you can Go ahead and you know change you know your display printers if you want that stuff to work. Uh, mine already works with the default settings, so I can leave it. But if things aren't working, uh, you may have to go back and manually change it. So go ahead and click finish, and then it'll go ahead. It'll it'll start up. Kind of like you, you see, like it's booting a uh, actual machine. And then it'll start up the Ubuntu. Uh, installation and it's pretty simple from there you just enter you know, the information it asks for uh, you know and then actually I don't think it asks for much it'll just uh, install and then ask you to log in and then uh, maybe do some configurations clock that's about it so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and I'll show you pretty much what it'll look like when you're done
I don't know why my resolution is like that. Alright, so here's my uh, virtual Ubuntu. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's like you're just in there. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of uses for it. I mean, if you want to use, you know, a uh, Linux program, uh, or sometimes I, I can just use it if I don't trust a file. Just open it in Ubuntu, and uh, you know, not not a lot of viruses for Linux. So, yeah. Uh, normally, I have it set up on my second monitor, so I can run uh, Ubuntu on my second monitor and keep Windows 7 over here. So if you want to try it out, you can go ahead. Uh, you can use pretty much any operating system you want. Um, with Mac, it's a lot more confusing. There are, there's a lot more uh, settings that you have to do, especially if you have an AMD processor, which I do. Um, and you know, I'm not about to describe how to do it on this tutorial. I might make a tutorial later, but uh yeah, it's a it's a lot more complicated. But you know, you can use it for uh Chrome OS, um you know, Ubuntu, Backtrack. You know, instead of having to dual boot or whatever, you can just set up a virtual machine. It's uh it's actually pretty cool. So uh yeah, links are down below and uh Have fun.